<laughs> There's no way. There is no. Oh my god, if we stay close to the middle of its body, can it not get us then? <gasps> yo, 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 what up? We're back. I left it on a cliffhanger for two reasons. Reason number one, we run over <laughs> on the recording. Reason number two, I really needed a pee. But let's just pick up where we left off. So we defeated this, like, ancient shark. Which, I feel a bit bad that we killed it and that we are currently carving it up. Like, it's a shame we couldn't, I don't know, take it away. But I don't think we flipped a switch yet. Ah, here we go. Here's our switch. It's larger than the one in the second room. Help me! Why well, are we still, we're still like the dream team, are we? Stop dallying and pull that lever, human. Alright, fine. Oh, look at him. She, that's the final one, you know. So down there is the control room, or... Oh my god. Okay, activated the last switch. The door to the control room should now be open. I must get out through the exit and see what's going on. Dave was definitely chatting like an anime character, where they just, like, say their thoughts out loud. <laughs> Oh yeah, we caught things. Oh yeah, we put down a high level freaking yo, a freaking dol dolo caris engines times three. Thank you very much. Right, so we are in one shot territory, fully aware. So we're just gonna go low and wide, and stay away from that poison boy. Hmm, the control room door is still closed. It is stuck by the tree roots growing from the inside. Yeah, I mean, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Just to go straight down. Oh, no, mate. Is that Johnny Watson? <laughs> it's been a while, dude. I knew you would be found here. <gasps> Johnny W, what are you doing? Made of eco-friendly materials and titanium, there is no place the Deccan Nine can't reach. I saw a passage in this strange village, so I broke through it. <laughs> You're such a prick, mate. You don't mind destroying this beautiful, primordial place, do you? Can't believe it. You are a germ in this world, and I'm about to sterilize you. Dude, I know what your sea blue did in secret. So it was you. This is why the description of the suspect perfectly matches you. <laughs> well, nah. And yes, Dave, I'm also curious. More reason that I can't let you go. I, John Watson of Sea Blue, guardian of the sea, will rid you of impurity. All right, let's go, brother. How do we get you out of that machine? Mmm, we must finish our business with this one. How am I supposed to neutralize that sturdy submarine? I don't know, mate. But we definitely... Oh, I just want the air. Alright, I see what we do. We go back to our first battle, mate. We're going to lead your silly little torpedo things into you. Oof, mate, you're getting done. That's a triple bomb, bro. Oh, mate, you don't want it. I think we're doing good. Did we do good? All right, you teleported over there. <laughs> You're running like a rat. You can't evade this one. The Kiris Army of Death. What? Oh, pff, mate. You just got done. Oh my God. A Corona sort of, yeah, all right. Who's ready to go back to Sea People Village? What is that? An ancient creature of Peleo of the Peleosaurus family? Dave, you're a, you're a clever guy, mate. Maybe a Chronosaurus? Can't believe it. A monster of that size, hidden in the deep glacier? Fighting such a monster would be ridiculous. But if he has recently come out of the ice, he may be sluggish and weak. Besides, there's no way we can get to the control room without confronting it. Is, jo is John dead? that missile launch that came off. Oh, mate, can we use it? Can we use it to shoot missiles? Yes, sir, let's go. Woo! Give me that. Oh, Are you doing? <laughs> mate! We just cocked it for 300 damage. We need that launcher back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, there's a clam over there. Is that... Okay, that's broken then. Dude. You just ate it. Oh, it's not broken. Please don't hit me. It's not broken anymore. You can shoot far run, Dave! Oh, we're gonna get cooked. Oh my god, how did we not get them? 
Lock on, brother. Lock on, dude. Did you get it? No, you failed. You suck, mate. Come on. Okay. We deal with that. Come on. Oh, I knew we weren't going to get that. Why did I even try it? Do you do fire now? No, you do another... Oh, my God. Okay. Now we can get it. Go, 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 go. It's chilling over that side. Dave, give me some screen. Where is it? Hey. Oh, that's bullshit. It was, we were there. Oh, well. I can't even lock up. That's a load of shit. <laughs> There's no way. There is no. Oh, my God. If we stay close to the middle of its body, can it not get us then? <gasps> Why have we got a hush start, man? Oh, give us the gun back. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, we're not good. All right, he does fire now, doesn't he? But we can lock on. This is the perfect time. Dave, lock on to your freaking target, mate. You're an idiot. Please lock on. Pop. There we go. You did not like that. Right, it's over here. We're just going to get this straight up. I don't feel like we would have another opportunity to get that again. Dave! 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 Oh, we're too close! How did we get away with that? Right, where's the gun? It is a good job we took a break after the last episode. I could not handle this in one go. Okay, right. Lock in. We need to get a bit closer. Shoot it! Oh, not before we had a big hit, though. One more hit, right? That's the game's rules. Take it out, please! Shit. Yeah, look, we read you. We read you. And we've got time to shoot our shot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Lock it, brother. Lock it, brother. No, you j- Oh, wait, you can shoot its butt. Shoot its head! Just take it out, please. Please be done. Don't get angry. We don't have the oxygen to deal with you anymore. Running out of that. Really? Come on, gun. Come on, gun. Recharge. Oh, my God. Are we going to get this? Oh, did we get it? Oh, let's go. Mate. How did we get away with that, dude? Oof. Poof. It would be a nightmare if one of those reaches land. Damn, that can go and land, right? I've got to hurry to the Divine Tree Control Room and restore the device. Dr. Bacon? What's this drone? Dave, sorry I'm late. I was making an Explorer drone to aid you. <laughs> it's just been completed. Mate, we've done the glacial era. Dr. Bacon, I didn't know a signal could reach this deep. Ah, it's the pride and joy of my lab. This drone not only communicates, but also does many activities underwater, all thanks to Duff. It's good to see you, Dave. Ah, such a large glacial ice in this depth, as if it was touched by Gabriella and her cold fingers. <laughs> if only I could soothe her loneliness. Anyway, it looks like the roots are blocking the door. This drone can cut the roots using a laser cutter. Oh, isn't that handy? I foresaw your hardship and added the feature. Hmm, why don't you activate the laser cutter? Mate, we're just going to carve up a prehistoric freaking giant alligator croco fish first, if that's all right. The divine tree is extremely hard, unlike ordinary trees. It will take two days. Do your thing until I'm done. I'll let you know. Oh my god, take us to... Okay, if we go to the sea people, now we can buy what we need for that epic level hush dart thing. I haven't forgotten. We're gonna do it. It was one of... It was you, and I think that was it from here. Okay. The biggest fish. Yeah, that's freaking huge, to be fair. Look at this epic boy. Mate, we're not doing a night shift. We're going to go night time fishing because we've got to get vampiric squid and other things. And look at all that stuff. Bancho wanted wheat. Honestly, Dave is like my inspiration in life, right? He just battled 
a giant ancient fish. And without a moment's break, just get stuck straight back into harvesting the crop. And then after that, gets his diving suit back on. Freaking is about to go back down. So we just need tentacles and topaz and then we can make it. And then we can bank big fish, right? So let's get the squid stuff. We can't buy anything at night. So all that's left to do is dive. Right, they're spear squid. They're nasty, but we don't need them. Aha! Oh, mate! What is going on? We just got absolutely decked, mate. Right, let's carry. Oh my god, go away. That squid is bigger than Dave, to be fair. Look at it, it's freaking huge! Okay, Humboldt Squid, check. Okay, let's go up and to the right, and we are going to find Vampire Squid. And I'm done with these things, they're so annoying. Go to bed, stop hitting me. Alright, maybe there's no squid in here tonight then. I would have liked to have got the vampiric stuff. I guess, oh, I don't know where that is. We've definitely come across it, like 100% we've come across it. If we died and we didn't get it ticked off, I don't know, maybe. But I know that it's around. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, we can sort him out now, hopefully. Oh, it's the afternoon I can handle, but it's too cold in the evening. I'm freezing to death here. Made any progress on that hot pepper tuna? Ha, huh, I happen to know the man who made the song, so I asked for the recipe. Good. Then please, make me the dish before I freeze to death. Should we just put it all on? Can we enhance it? It doesn't need anything that we're going to need for our quest. Don't look at the money for it. Banjo, make it shine. All right, big time. Stack it, bro. We can only put one on the menu. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-five, thirty-two. Two tuna on, right? That'll be a good menu. Can we still upgrade our staff? Oh shit, we got Mackie. Mackie, I forgot about you. Let's make you good. Ah, this can make sense. Mackie needs to be... Mackie's going to be a good chef, right? So we can swap her with Ko. And then we can get Ko on the floor. Oh my god, how did we forget about Mackie? Look how good she is. You know, we're just going to train you up to the maximum. You're going to make us money back, I know you are. I completely forgot that she wants to be Bancho's, like, protégé. Oh, now we've got Mackie. She's, like, well good. What's she got to say? I'll become a great cook and make my father proud. Big time. Let's do it. And we'll keep an eye on the wasabi. <laughs> That's like our only job. Come on, mate. Who's on the absolute farest bit of the table? Have that. <laughs> we better hear hot pepper tuna. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what the heat is i can feel the warmth i'm sweating that's quite a reaction glad you're not cold anymore you've saved me and you don't even know my name yet i'm django a wandering merchant i collect and sell rare ingredients from all over the world oh ingredients thanks for a fine meal if you don't mind i'll drop by once in a while and sell my products at a good price most of them you'll be able to acquire on your own but i bet you don't have a truffle Ooh. <laughs> This is a gift in exchange for your dish and a recipe that needs a truffle. Big time, thank you. I'll be passing by on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. Since it's cold in the evening, I'll drop by in the afternoons. Okay. And if you'll excuse me, I'll see you on those days. Big time. Okay. Well, I'm glad we made you warm, mate. Django will visit Bancho Sushi. Django has special items. Visit the restaurant in the afternoon. Okay, cool. Yo, we're gonna work, let's go. Right, we gotta keep an eye on that freaking wasabi as well. That is our job now. And that's gonna drop down quick. Look at it, oh my God, let's drop it. I'm messing around. 
And we don't need to worry about cocktails anymore. Freaking look how quick Cove's going. He's rapido. I wish we had someone who could clean up, though. I've got to clean up the mess and it's so far away. Did we do good? Mm, we didn't do, like, that great, did we? It wasn't a big night. We wasted a bit of stock. Yeah, yeah, we didn't do that good. Oof, big Friday. It's VIP day. We've got everything ready. Oh my god, it's VIP night and Cucumber World. Mate, watch Sammy uploaded. Ha! <laughs> Legit hot pepper tuna, big time. Look at the light. Oh, we can like them! I didn't know you could do that. Let's do it. <laughs> That's the best one. Right, we're going to call it. Thank you so much for joining us, as per always, in the next one. We've got a big night. As per usual, it's cucumber day and zip night for the Italiano chef. So it's going to be pretty cool. We're, um, and what have we got to do on our to-do list for the next one? We have got two. Oh, yeah, we still got to find the little Octo guy. And what have we got to do with the main quest now? I've completely forgot. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, that's it. We've got to wait two days for the tree to be cut. So, you know, we got we got a day for the VIP stuff. So, ready. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Much love. I'll need out.